Hi everyone, Phil from Ember Prototypes here. So we've been hard at work developing and testing our next product for the past two or three months. And so I'm really excited to finally be able to share it with everybody. So today we are launching fully customizable texture PI build plates for the Bamboo Lab series 3D printers and also for the Prusa MK series 3D printers. These are entirely customizable. You send us your artwork, we put it on a plate for you. There are no minimum order quantities. You can order one, you can order 10, you can order 100. And these are just such a cool way to either just add your branding onto your plate or for actually adding your artwork and a pattern or your logo onto 3D printed parts themselves. So in today's video, I will explain a bit more about what this is and show some examples of what you can do with it. All right, so what is this? It's basically a high quality double-sided textured PEI plate that we apply your artwork onto with a very durable coating. So you basically send us in your artwork, you tell us whether you want a thin coating or a thick coating, which I'll explain a bit later, and then we will apply it onto a double-sided texture PI plate for you. And we've tested these plates across many different filament types over many, many prints through all our beta testers and also internally. And the coating that we apply is very durable. If you take care of it properly, it will last a very, very long time. We offer two types. One is a thin coating, which is what you see here. And then one is the thick coating, which is this side. So the thick coating is meant to intentionally imprint your pattern or your logo or whatever artwork you have on here onto your 3D prints. The thin side is mostly for people who just want to add some flair and some branding onto time lapses, content creation, if you're streaming a lot, or if you're like us and you print a lot of internal prototypes and it's just really cool to open up your printer every time your print is done and see your logo there. So, that's kind of the gist of what this is, and I'll talk about the thin coating and the thick coatings in more detail now. So let's take a look at some thin coatings. As mentioned before, thin coatings are mostly for time lapses, content creation, streaming, uh, or just cool factor for when you're printing something and you're taking it out of your printer. Thin coatings, as the name suggests, is a very thin application of our coating onto the textured build plate. It's meant to have good contrast for your logo with minimal imprinting onto your parts. It's impossible to have zero imprinting because we apply the artwork after the build plates have been powder coated, but we've designed it so that it's very, very minimal, kind of near zero. So let's take a look at some examples. This is our first example. So for each of these that I'm going to show, I'm also going to have kind of like a test swatch that I'll share as well. So you can see that in certain lighting conditions and certain angles, you can see the part that's been imprinted onto it. But in general, the amount of imprinting of the artwork is very, very small. And in some, viewing angles, it basically disappears. So the easiest way to describe this without actually seeing it is it's kind of like a holographic watermark. Um, so very faint and kind of disappears at certain viewing angles. The other thing that I will say is that the test swatches that we're showing with these plates is printed in black filament, which is the absolute worst scenario. Um, if these were printed in white, you basically would not be able to see them on the camera most likely. So lighter filaments will show even less than darker ones. So this is another example of a thin coating on a Prusa plate. So again, you can see that the imprint or the logo is only visible in certain viewing angles, but it's basically non-existent in others, so.
another last example. So if there are situations in which you cannot live with any kind of imprinting or imperfections on the surface, you can just flip it around and print on the plain textured PI side. This is actually precisely why we only coat one side so that you can always flip it over and use the plain side if you need to. We actually do this ourselves. Uh, if we're printing parts for clients or there is a part or surface that just cannot have anything on it, we'll just flip it over and print on this side. But honestly, for a lot of internal prototyping and testing, we will just print directly on the surface and it's not really a big deal. You really don't see the imprint most of the time. So that's thin coatings. Let's go on and talk about thick coatings. So while thin coatings are meant to minimize the amount of imprinting onto your parts, thick coatings are basically the direct opposite. We apply a thick coating so that we can maximize the amount of imprint that your logo or your artwork will apply onto your printed first layer. So here are some examples. So you can see that the amount of imprinting is a lot more significant than before. You can basically see it at any time, at any angle. And you can see that a lot of these testers or a lot of these individuals have patterned their logos so that it creates an array of their design and their artwork onto the printed part. So thick coatings are a really cool way to put your logo onto parts uh, or kind of watermark or put basically anything you want onto the first layer of your print, which could potentially save you a lot of time. If you're making production parts that want to have some kind of branding on it, you know, you don't have to worry about filament swaps, color changes. You basically just get this for free on your first layer. If you want to learn more or purchase your own plate, I'll leave a link to the description down below. And yeah, I'm just really, really excited to share these with everybody. Even just making all the plates that you see here for our beta testers was really fun and really cool to see all the different designs and ideas that people have. And especially with the thick coatings and the patterning, like the possibilities here are endless. So anyways, I hope that was interesting. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions about these plates. Uh, if you go and you grab one, thank you for supporting us. I really appreciate it as a small business. And yeah, thanks for watching.